In this video, I will show you how to transform yourself into a half lion. All right, first of all, you need to make sure you have a pretty good quality photo for this and make sure it's taken like a portrait. So right from the front. So instead of looking at the side or something like that. So make sure to have something like this and use a background with a normal color without things behind it would also be better. So let's first make a new file and I'm going to use, let's make a square. So for instance, if you want to create something for Instagram as a profile photo, you can use a square that's better. Let's also make this thing here and make like these black borders around it so we can see the area that we will see in this design like that. All right, this is just for reference. Now, I have this line here that I'm going to use and this photo from this guy here. So I'm gonna put this about there. And first thing, make smart object as always and resize this to get the right size. So I think something like this is fine. And next thing I wanna do here is I need to create some guidelines. So let me just create a new layer and with a normal brush, I can make like these areas. This is one eye. This is what I need to understand where I need to place the photo of the guy. So we need to make, need to make sure where the mouth is, the nose and the eyes, and that's pretty much it. So this is just for reference to understand it. So let me copy this and let's disable this one and put this one here. Also make a smart object and try to fit these crosses that I created here at the same place. So you need to make sure the eyes are also somewhere there. And just resize until you got it at the right spot. So this may be something like this is fine. It doesn't have to be precise at the same place because well, obviously humans have, don't have the same same dimensions on the face as animals. So this is okay, I think. Now, when I disable this, you can also, let's leave that one there. I'm gonna lock this one so I don't touch it. So when I disable this, I'm gonna make a mask here and just select the gradient tool. Make sure to have white to black or press D on your keyboard and just make like this selection of one side. So I don't know which side you would like to, but this all also depends on your photo. Some side works better. So maybe this one or this side. You need to check that how that looks with your photo. So once you got that done, we can see here, this eye is like really small compared to this one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rasterize this layer. Then I'm gonna select this tool and I'm gonna make the eye bigger because it doesn't have to be like a real photo. Let's make a smart object so I don't ruin the quality. It doesn't have to look like a real photo because it isn't real anymore. So if I make the eye bigger like this, you won't notice it. So it's something like this, maybe rotate it even, put it a bit to the left side. So it looks a bit natural compared to the eye of the human. And now we can make the photo smaller. So we can ruin the image of the of the line a bit, but I wouldn't ruin the image of the human because we obviously would notice that. Now let's fix this border around it. So let's just make a mask here and select the black brush and just get rid of those and you won't see it anymore that resize this because it's all fur and you cannot see it anymore. So this is fine. Just make sure to get rid of all these parts. Maybe also this one. I think this looks fine. and. Now we need to make sure it looks better. So let's fix this, fix this. Let's move this a bit around. Let's see, maybe like that. I think I can even make this bigger. I'm just slightly gonna stretch it out like that while holding shift. Don't do it too much because if you do it too much, your face is gonna look weird. I think this bit of that is fine. Now, the next thing to do is to brush this better. So you can either use a normal brush, but I would use a fur brush for this one. I will link this brush in the description of the video. 
I use this all the time and just brush these parts like you want to. So maybe you wanted a bit of the nose at the same spot as this line or maybe you just want the whole nose of the line here. So this all depends what you want to do with the image. I'm going to do it like half and also the mouth. The mouth you can see here, it doesn't fit his mouth. So this we could easily fix. Let me rasterize these layers, convert this to a smart object and open up the puppet warp. And with this I can just, let's make some points. So we don't want to ruin those points. Let me just move it a bit up like that. And now it fits this image. So with these points, you can just move things around to make it fit his mouth. If you want to, you can also do it with the nose. Maybe a bit down like that. We can even move the eye a bit around if you want to. So this is really easy to make it match the whole image. But don't do it too much because if you do too much, it's going to look weird. So this looks pretty fine to me. And next thing I would do here is to get the lighting better so this depends on your photo for this photo you can see here is way too light so we'll just drop the highlights here a bit like that and get rid of these colors with the unit situation so this would really depend on how your photo looks so i'm not gonna do it with this one i'm just gonna show it how it looks and you can try it with your own photo and maybe you want to get rid of the background here because that yellow background I'd suggest you take a photo on a black background if you use this photo. Maybe even show the fur of the animal in the background if you want to. Or do it like that, whatever. Now, you can see here I did some dodge on the eye to match the eye of the, the line. So once you're done with everything, you need to blend this all better together with the colors. So just add the gradient map here. I have all these gradient maps that I like to use. So just pick one that looks natural. For instance, like, like this one, for instance, change the blend mode to soft light and drop the opacity really low. Give it a curves. Bring these highlights up to make it lighter. Bring this a bit down if you want to. Like that and if you have this right side, like one color, you can also just add something to there. Maybe some clouds or whatever you want. That is basically it. So thanks for watching. If you want to learn more, check out one of these videos. Until then, see you on the next one.